Hi, it's Pastor Paul Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Fantastic Friday. God has done awesome things. He's propelling us into the weekend. We're so grateful that we've come off to the heels of Resurrection Sunday, and God has been so good to us. Today, let's continue looking into the book of Daniel, the second chapter, verses 1 through 23. This is the, this is the portion that talks about Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Now, Nebuchadnezzar goes to sleep one night and he has this very disturbing dream that he cannot figure it out. So he calls all of his wise men. He asks all of those who have been counseled with him. He says, this is what my dream is. Can you please tell me the interpretation thereof? Well, the text helps us to see and understand that he says, I'm very serious about this. If you guys can't tell me what it is, I'm going to have all of you gone. I'm going to have your heads. You're going to all be killed. You better find me the answer to what this dream is all about because it is alarming me. I'm very disturbed. So the text lets us see that he says, I cannot find anybody to give me the interpretation of my dream. So Nebuchadnezzar says that if no one can tell me, none of my astrologers, none of my musicians, none of my uh, magicians, I need somebody. He demanded it must be impossible. I cannot figure this thing out. Somebody has to help me out. Have you ever been in a situation whereby you just cannot seem to figure it out? It seems like it is just so perplexing. And you are praying and asking God to give you an answer. Well, it was true with Daniel. Daniel had the same kind of situation. But, Daniel said, but, but Nebuchadnezzar, he calls on Daniel. Daniel is the guy. Remember, Daniel and his three friends, these four guys, had found themselves in a wonderful relationship with God. They had already proved to Nebuchadnezzar that they knew God and that God was doing something powerful in their lives. Remember, they had already set the bar to be a little bit above all the others because they serve a God who was not known by Nebuchadnezzar and his people. They serve the God who was the one and only, the true and the living God. And so now he asked Daniel, Daniel, I need for you to help me out. So Daniel calls his friends. He says, tonight, let's all of us pray and ask God, give us the interpretation of the dream. He urged them to ask the God of heaven to show mercy by telling unto them the secrets that they may be able to share with the king the interpretation of the dream. So Daniel prays this prayer. Praise the name of the God forever and ever for he who has all wisdom and power. He controls the courses of the world events. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and acknowledgement to the scholars. He reveals deep and mysterious things and he knows what lies hidden in the darkness. Though he is surrounded by light, I thank and praise you, God of my ancestors, for you have given me wisdom and strength. You have told me and what we have asked of you and reveal unto us the king's demand. Daniel prays this prayer. His colleagues praise this prayer. And God is speaking to him. And all of our lives, there are mysteries that we seemingly just cannot figure out for ourselves. Remember, we're limited. God is infinite. God has all wisdom, has all power. We are finite. There's only certain portions where we can go and God has to take the rest of the way. And so Daniel understands this. He asks God, God, show me the answer. And all of our lives, we need to pray and say, God, show me the answer. I can't figure this out. I'm so happy during this midst of COVID-19 that many have prayed when it first started and God gave us a solution. He gave people the wisdom to be able to come up with a vaccine. I hope you've been vaccinated. I've been fully vaccinated. We've had many of our congregants to do the same. I hope and pray whatever those mysterious things are in your life that you can't figure out, that you will pray and you will ask the God of heaven, the God of our ancestors to reveal it unto us. He gave messages to all of those who came before us. He has a message for you today. God bless you and I'll see you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. 
Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Fountain.